So how are you going to do this simultaneous replication? What you're going to do is you're going to have a leading strand, which is the continuous strand, a strand, I remember. And you have a lagging strand, which is discontinuous. So that guy, that part of the DNA will be replicated in short segments, short, short fragments. Okay, so please know the difference between leading strand and lagging strand. I will probably, I will try to find a nice video for this, for the next uh, meeting of ours. So I can show you because in three dimension it's a little bit more fancy. So you have these short fragments and those fragments are called by Mr. Okazaki or Dr. Okazaki, Okazaki fragments. So Dr. Okazaki discovered these, which is cool. And uh, so these are Okazaki fragments. So one side is continuous, the other side is discontinuous. After replication, these fragments will be joined together by DNA. I mean, DNA polymerase will fill the gaps and the ligase will join everything together. Fill the necks. That's what ligase does. Okay. Seals the necks. Okay. Any question about primer, primary, primase, primase, and RNA primers and lagging leading strands and Okazaki fragments? I mean, remember these things very well because these are very, very important. This is like the the meat and bones part of the, the this this lecture. I mean, this second lecture. Challenge three, the unwinding problem. Again, as I told you, this side will have torsion because it's going to be wrapped around. There are enzymes called topoisomerases. Okay. They're going to fix that problem. What they do is they cut and join the DNA using the torsion. So you wouldn't like to do that with your, uh, I mean, earbud, um, you know, cable. But if you, if you have the torsion, if you just cut them and seal them, you can release the torsion. Okay, that's what the topoisomerases do. Okay. If topoisomerases don't do that, your RNA, your DNA will be tangled and it will be a mess. Okay. So every challenge has an answer and every answer can be a question. Okay, you have to know what topoisomerases do. Ease torsion, okay. relieve supercoiling. All these, also, uh, I mean, you guys already know this problem, but all this like jargon, the genetics jargon is very, very important. Now, the fourth challenge is the end replication problem. The problem is when you replicate everything perfect, at the end, you have these RNA primers and they will be, you know, digested, they will be gone. And you will have these opening gaps, okay? Like every time you replicate DNA, the end five prime ends will have a gap. Okay. Not a long gap, but long, like it can be a problem over time. So you have some gaps at the end. So how are you going to fix this? Because there's no DNA polymerase coming and filling this because it doesn't have a primer anymore. Okay. This is the primer of primer itself. It's, like, like, it's the first cause. Okay. There's nothing before the first cause. So the solution is an enzyme called telomerase. And these ends are called telomeres. This was a question in the board this year. They add, uh, asked what are telomerases or like what fills the gap at the end does the answer of telomerases. Now, I don't want you to remember this like Turk RNA or Turk reverse transcript days. Like I don't, I don't care about these names, but please remember there's an RNA in the polymerase, it is telomerase, and there's a reverse transcriptase. So the telomerase uses this reverse trans transcriptase to make a complementary DNA from this RNA it has and adds to the end to the end of the uh, of the DNA or the chromosome. Okay. And it will elongate the chromosome like that. And this will enable the DNA polymerase come in and fill the gap, okay? So you will still have a final gap, but that final gap will be artificial, artificially created by the telomerase, whatever the telomerase sequence is. So you, are, you have the, um, the luxury to lose that end, okay? 
However, surprise, surprise, uh, not every cell has telomerases. Actually, your cells do not have telomerases, okay? Your cells are destined to die. But there are only two cells, two types of cells, who can have to activate their telomerases and live. One of them is your stem cells. Yeah. Your stem cells act as telomerases because they need to be stem cells, always there for you create good stuff. Of course, every light has darkness. And the darkness comes 